Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today, we celebrate Saint Nicholas of Flew, a soldier turned husband, turned judge, turned hermit. He was a pretty busy guy, but as you'll soon hear, the one thing he didn't have much time for was his education. Saint Nicholas of Flew was born in Switzerland in the early 1400s. In that time, Europe was an ever changing place, and Switzerland in particular was surrounded by the power struggles of larger nations. As a result, Nicholas spent much of his early life making his living as a soldier. Despite his military career, Nicholas had no taste for violence, condemning needless wars and the slaughter of civilians. It wasn't until Nicholas was around 30 years old that he settled down, marrying a peasant girl named Dorothy Wiss, with whom he raised a large family. He remained a soldier for a while, earning the rank of captain before he was elected to a position on the state council, then made judge. Despite the fact that Nicholas was practically illiterate, many regarded him highly for his wisdom and counsel, particularly in solving disputes. He was even offered the chance to be a governor, which he declined. Nicholas had always been religious, devoting his time to prayer every night for most of his life. But as he approached his 50s, he became increasingly reflective. After a particularly impactful dream, he told his family of his strong desire to leave home and become a hermit. With his family's approval, he built a crude lodging in Rout, about an hour away from his home, and he began a more austere life of prayer and fasting. He went without many comforts, including warm winter clothes. But most impressively, he soon began to refuse all food and drink and went on to sustain himself solely on the Eucharist for almost two decades. His reputation grew during these years, and he started receiving visitors. In response to his increasing fame, authorities in the region built him a cell and a chapel to pray in. The Pope then granted an indulgence for those who went on pilgrimage to his hermitage, and many more people flocked to him, seeking advice on all kinds of problems. Nicholas achieved many things as a counselor, and gave counsel to one issue in particular in 1480, when the Diet of Stans took place. Many Swiss delegates meeting there were at odds and ready to dissolve their connections. The pastor of Stans rushed to Nicholas and begged him to come and help. But the hermit had vowed not to leave his cell. Rather than breaking his vow, he gave the pastor a simple statement and asked him to pass it on. Upon hearing Nicholas' statement, the delegates were able to set aside their grievances. And so, Nicholas was credited with averting a civil war without ever leaving his hermitage. The saint was deemed political savior of Switzerland and continued to be visited until his health failed in 1487, and he died surrounded by his wife and children. He was beatified in 1669 and canonized in 1947 by Pope Pius VII. In Nicholas, we see someone who's accomplished so much with very little. In spite of his lack of education and his time spent as a soldier, he was a man of peace and understanding. We see through him that we don't have to be defined by what we lack or what we've done in the past, rather by how we wield the tools we have, whether it's a sword or the word. St. Nicholas of Flew, pray for us.